there welcome to your reading this is going to be your next seven to ten days energy check-in the overlap of the last reading um and we're going to do a bit of a predictive intuitive read with this as well as tarot sorry i just have to have a sip of my coffee and some oracle cards some of you, I feel like you could be having a bit of a high emotional time on a few of these days. Um, and this could actually be what you're already feeling. If not, it's upcoming. I am also getting some of you could be planning a holiday. It could be planned unexpectedly or you could have done um, and you just go. Like you don't think it too much. You don't plan it so detailed you just go you know so for example you don't think of insurance you don't think of your money you're just like yeah i'm going um that kind of energy is what i'm getting i would also say um there's an energy of you following up on money so i don't know if this is money owed to you um let's get the tarot and then i'll continue to channel these messages i'll speak to i'll mention to you Very strong cards here. I don't know what these two are, but the world card, I'm going to have to turn it over because of, you know, the imagery and I'll sort the imagery out. Um, I feel like some of you could be, you, you know, you, you, let's just get some more cards a moment. Very strong energies. Um, what did I say? This was the world card, yeah. Some of you have been in your emotions and you could be feeling that um, this could be around people who you have a lot of sentiment for, you know, but at the same time, some people have been triggering your defense have been getting you a bit rattled up where you feel like you need to defend yourself. Um, and you then move into an energy where you recognize that things are turning for you in a good way and I think that calms your emotion down. I think for some of you, you circle out of certain relationships, friendships that you might have felt trigger you to be on the defense, make you feel vulnerable, maybe make you feel less than. And as you do that, you somehow feel more confident and you're ready to move forward. Some of you could be holding on to a person who you feel was your significant other, is your significant other, um, a soulmate connection, someone from your past. You strongly recognize and feel that this is your soulmate and you have strong emotions for them. Now, if you want a love reading, let me know in the comments because this seems to be going down the love road a little bit. Some of you could have felt like there's been separation of things or delays. And so you felt like you have wanted to kind of escape. I do think there's a union and partnership coming in for you. Some of you, you know, very strong energies here. Your own energy is very strong here even when you're taking up a different energy to your norm energy. So strong energies on the deck that we have, we've all got the all signs with the world, we've got Gemini and we've got uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Sag, Aries. A very strong 
So you've got all elements here and you definitely were shown with the magician in your recent past. It's like you have everything you need to move forward. It's just the people that maybe where you felt you had your emotions in check, they were triggering you and you kind of felt like that was a time to put an end to those things, to those people, to those triggers, because sending your emotions out of balance was not feeling good being in high emotions and if not then this is the energy that i'm kind of informing you of that you might want to embed because there's been a feeling like you want to escape certain things and some of you i feel have put boundaries up and they might be forever boundaries by the way where you felt like you need to defend yourself so much. Um, but you're, uh, you overcome any issues here. And although I was feeling like you're working extremely hard and I was worried about the balance of work and life, here, this seems to be a different focus. Some of you, there is new love coming in. This could be from a distance or it just could be someone who's returning from your past or a very strong soulmate connection. And I feel like you've been manifesting each other. One of you is going to be a lot more connected to spirituality or being like in a spiritual sense and emotions. And the other one is going to be much more of a 3D kind of person you're going to have like maybe an, a, reverse the roles, maybe not so in touch with their emotions in the beginning. But they do somehow with the way they communicate, maybe not the soppiest, but they do inform you of how they see you, how they recognize you how you know you're important to them um, and how interested they are in you the stubborn energies here and it could be just this person that you're getting to know it could be yourself a little bit of stubbornness some of you i feel like this next to uh, this is really good because I feel like you're ha you're going to be um, feeling the joys of life where you've been very focused on work. There's a bit of a change there. And for some of you, I feel like you're going to be the harmonizer within a situation at work. It could be with certain colleagues. And then the ultimate boss and you're like, can we calm this down? Or you take a really stubborn stance against something at work. There is, I feel, a lot of abundance coming in for you if you don't have that already. Okay. Um, and there is a new beginning. There's new beginnings here. I feel transformation, but I think this is a lot around communication as well and putting your boundaries up. Communication coming in for you. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed, you might be feeling a little bit grumpy. And that might send your um, emotions out of balance. You might feel quite stressed, not able to see things clearly, cloudy. So get a good night's sleep because that's going to help your emotions. That's what I was saying in terms of communication coming through for you, transformation, new beginnings. I feel like a lot of you could be having a lot of fun over the next couple of weeks. It could be to do with this holiday that you're thinking to take up. Now, some people might be asking about you. There's the lover's choices. And two of pentacles. So definitely some some things might need, you know, choices to be made. And it could be between two people as well. But it could be in any area of your life. I feel like, you know, there's a lot on decisions as well for you that could be coming up. And I would say over the next sort of two to three months. 
if people are asking about you don't feel like they're trying to get into your life i feel like these are just making sure that you're okay but you're kind of like why are they asking about me and it's kind of like they just want to make sure that you are okay um, they're not necessarily trying to follow where you're going and your whereabouts There might be some big personalities around you and this could also be to, to do with love, right? Um, or what's coming in for you. But basically, you don't have to make your decision on anyone as well. You can just um, go with the flow. I mean, if it's some of you that are thinking to date, go on that date and then make your decision. Don't get so overwhelmed about it. Like, oh my God, I've just been asked on a date or something. And you kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing, la la la, but that good night's sleep is going to help you as well. There's something about using your discernment um, when it comes to some things and making sure that your emotions are in balance. It could be around this energy that was here that you, you know, you need to just continue to embed, but not take it in a personal way. Use discernment and make sure your energy of emotions is grounded as well. Um, a good night's sleep is going to help with that to help you also make the decisions and choices that I can see coming up for you. Don't forget to hit the like, share an imagery. Um, let me know if it resonated. You can always check your top placements. Um, it helps it get out in the algorithm and it helps other people receive the message that maybe they need guidance on. Um, and so... You can give it a like, subscribe to the channel. A lot of people are returning viewers, but they're not subscribed. So I'm not really sure why. But if you want personalized reading, any of all the information, donations, etc. is in the um, description box. My fearless freedom lights up the world. It's the energy I was talking about. I choose love no matter what. I'm un unapologetic about what I desire and trust what I focus on will grow. Some of you, I feel, are not fully trusting this, you know. And I think that's where you take on the energy that I need to put boundaries on. And I need to be unapologetic unapolog about what I desire, what I'm going forward with, who I am. And trust that that is the right journey. That's what's going to get me, me make these right decisions in the right way. Again, something about you being quite creative as well, um, or maybe an outlet when you're feeling overstressed, you tap into or a hobby, um, and then it helps you make decisions around certain things. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, give it a like, subscribe, uh, put an image for me, let me know, and take care and stay blessed. Bye for now.